So today what we're going to do is pour LB Amp uh, Arabinos um, plates. So we have our sleeve of 20 plates and we have our LB Auger ready. This is at 300 mils and we have three mils each of ampicillin and arabinose, as well as our three color markers and scissors. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do is pull out the plates. So I will remove or cut off close as close to the top as possible. Okay, and then I will remove the plates by uh, inverting this bag and then slowly removing the sleeves from the plates. So once you get it started, it's relatively easy to just remove the plastic. Okay. And from there, save, save your sleeve. From there, I will separate this to two stacks of 10 or however many stacks that's easy for you. And I want to basically line or um, mark them with three colors. Black is our LB, red is our ampicillin, and green is our rabinose. And so we'll need all three lines onto these plates. So it's easy enough just to mark them quickly down the side, as, like this. And I'll do the next set too. And then once the black is done, we can then do the red. And then we'll do the green. Okay. So now I like to separate them into shorter stacks for pouring. So I think this time I'm going to separate them into stacks of five. Sometimes when people have bigger hands, they might be able to you know, stack them in a higher amount. I usually like to work with four, but I think five is fine too. So, notice I have more, uh, more than one sleeve ready to go here, okay? I have about 300 mils of LB uh, auger, and that will pour about 30 plates. So that's a little bit more than a sleeve, okay? Depending on how thick or thin you pour your auger. We have three mils each of arabinose and ampicillin, which is the exact amount we need for 300 mils of LB auger. So I would just dump it all in. Oh, and there's something very important that I forgot to mention is that your LB auger should be cooled to about 60 degrees. 60 to 65, well, 55 to 65, I guess. Okay, so it's relatively cool to the touch. Okay, I'm not being burned by it. So now this is ready to go, to pour. And what I like to also do is to get a strip of paper ready. Because I'm going to make a collar so it will catch any drips that comes down. I like to spray my bottle first, as well as my strip of paper. And then this is my collar. It's like what you do with a wine bottle. Okay, so now this is ready and our bottle is uh, pulled to the touch. And I, I just want to reemphasize that you want to pour, put your ampicillin and arabinose to cooled LB auger. If you pour it when it's hot, it's going to deactivate or ruin your ampicillin and arabinose and it won't work, okay? So we'll start, we'll start with our first set of five plates and we just want to cover the bottom. And notice we're not using a hood and I'm not using a flame. The idea is that you just want to pour as quickly as possible and uh, so that it remains sterile. I have never found it to be a problem. Okay, and here we go. So you want to pour so it covers the bottom of the plate. And you know, initially, if you're a beginner, you might pour too thick, which is fine. You know, we give you enough for more than a sleeve. Okay, once the stack of five is done, I'll move it aside. I'll move it in the next stack. And notice when I moved the stack, I moved it such that I did not 
move the auger around so it went to the lip or the lid of the petri dish. You don't want to create an uh, entry point for any microbes. And I'm also noticing that my bottle is kind of drippy. So um, in order to avoid it dripping so much too, I'm maintaining a horizontal uh, procedure on holding my bottle. So in other words, after I pour, notice I'm not going like this. And that's just so that it doesn't keep dripping down. I seem, I find that that's the best way to prevent too much dripping down the side of your bottle. Sometimes you get lucky with the bottles with the good lips um, that you prevent any kind of drips. Okay, so another thing to emphasize when you are pouring the LB amp and LB amp era plates is that you want to pour the whole bottle. You know, so, and the reason is once these guys gel, you're going to need to reheat it. And how do you reheat it? Probably using a microwave. And that will really deactivate your ampicillin um, in your solution. And then you, that means that you're going to need more ampicillin. And then you then worry about the final amount, if it's too much or too little. So it's best that when you are pouring, that you pour the whole bottle and just get it done with. Okay, so it looks like I'm out of my plates, right? And my auger, there's only a little bit left. That means I gotta pour quickly. I gotta find another sleeve, which I happen to have, of plates. And I gotta make sure that I work quickly now because that auger is probably gonna start to gel soon. So, you know, I had counted out, I thought, um, more than enough plates, but apparently not. And so, just got to work quickly. For this set here, I'm not going to worry about labeling it first. What I want to do is pour it as soon as possible. I'm already noticing that the gel is becoming a little bit thicker because there's such a small volume left and it's starting to not go to the bottom of the plates so easily and now I gotta remember that these guys that aren't labeled are your arabinos ones so this is pretty much near the end of my line here and I think I have enough for one more Okay, that's it. So that's my bottle. And I didn't label these guys, right? So I better label them now, just so I know exactly what they are. So again, I'll do the black and the red. And then the green. Okay, so now I have these guys ready. I'm gonna push them to aside, and notice I'm doing that very gently. And I'm gonna wait for a couple of days until they cure, which means that they're gonna dry up a bit. You'll notice a lot of condensation on the lids. We want that to dry up completely uh, before we put them back in the sleeve. And then next time, I'll show you how to put these plates back in the sleeve. However, in the meantime too, this is a empty bottle. I wanna rinse this as quick as possible. Um, so that none of the auger or any liquid that's left in there uh, uh, solidifies. Okay, thank you.